Hi, it's Louise at Spiral Bright Insight, and this is a video to talk to you about a specific Blu-ray activation that is coming up. Now, the sun will reach 19 degrees of Sagittarius on the 11th of December, and this is bringing in an opposition to a fixed star named Nihal in the Lepus constellation, which we very strongly associate with the blue ray frequency. Now, I have done a video about blue ray star seeds on my channel, which um, I recorded last year. I know a lot of people subscribed to my channel have watched it, but if you haven't, I highly recommend that you go back and watch that. And I will share the link below in this video in the chat box below um, or in the description box below. Um, but just a kind of very short recap. Um, the Blu-ray souls are um, more a, a kind of frequency. They come from many different places in the universe and there are a number of fixed stars that are associated with with the blue rays and um, Nihal is one of the biggest or strongest connections um, and they tend to be um, they're very much here to raise the frequency and the vibration on the planet and um, they have very um, sort of strong gifts of a or an abilities to transmute and clear lower and denser energies. Um, so as a result, they often find, well, they find, they choose to incarnate into or come into situations in this earthly realm where there is very sort of negative and toxic and lower vibrational energy. So if you are a blue red star seed, the chances are you will find yourself in situations, in places and environments where there is a lot of negativity. And um, until you actually know why that is, it can be very challenging. But actually, the truth is your soul um, has chosen for you to be there specifically so that you can clear the energies that need clearing. And this is all about clearing out the lower density so that we can raise the frequency on the planet. And um, so it can be very hard for blue rays to understand humanity, to understand human behaviour. And they often find that they are born into families where they don't fit in and they don't really understand how on earth they ended up there. And um, they can feel, you know, it's very much sort of the black sheep energy and um, can be hard to really understand why people are behaving or thinking or acting in the way they are. But it's just because there is such a strong mismatch of vibration but it is all intentional and um, so they can feel misunderstood and it is not usually until later in their lives that they start to realize what is going on and that can be very um liberating certainly very awakening and a big relief when you actually understand why um why you know you've been through certain experiences in your lifetime but there's a real sort of push on clearing and healing ancestral karma which is why that blue rays often choose um families where there is a lot of trauma and a lot of challenge to work through and um, so they're also here to share wisdom and again quite often that doesn't come online until later in life and I speak for myself um, because really I've only just started um, sort of sharing what I know um, in sort of well <laughs> I'm 50 years old now so it wasn't until sort of within the last two years that that has started happening for me. Um, they're also here to activate um, DNA, which again is part of our ascension process. Um, it can be hard for them to recognise how valuable they are, recognise their worth, um, and often they will take a back seat. So there's less sort of militant behaviour and attitudes, although they don't stand for any nonsense and they find, you know, the whole systems um, structures um, expectations, rules and regulations really quite bizarre because um, it's totally at odds with where they come from and what where their frequency is vibrating. So they, um, although they try and fit in, they probably don't have a lot of regard or respect for authority. Um, certainly when um, the authority is not acting in our best interests um, and it's all about power and control. Um, so this 
um, sun opposing Nihal really is acting like a full moon in the, in the way that the sun is shining its full light on to this star. So this feels very much like um, an activation time. Now we do obviously have a conjunction of Nihal and the sun in June when the sun is at 19 degrees of Gemini, but this is like full moon energy to me. So it is very much about activating the blue reese blu-ray starseed frequencies in us and i know there are a lot of us out there because so many of you have commented on my video and messaged you and so many have come to me for readings um, so it feels like a time where um, whether you're doing it consciously or not, there's going to be a step up in the transmuting of lower frequencies. So I would say um, make sure that you are grounded, make sure that you are drinking lots of water, that you're staying hydrated, make sure that um, you are conscious. So if you are sort of taking on energies, that you are able to allow them to move through and out. Don't become attached to them and don't take them on as your own. Now, it feels really potent and significant because the day after this opposition, we have this beautiful new moon in Sagittarius, and that is taking place at 20 degrees, 40 minutes of Sag. Now, it's going to oppose, so the new moon is opposing Nihal because this opposition is still very much relevant and active. We also have um, the new moon and the... Um, the, the sun are going are sitting directly in between the great attractor and the galactic center in Sagittarius, the great attractor being at 14 degrees, the galactic center being at 27. So this is bang in the middle. And this feels really um, significant because it is almost as if these two very powerful cosmic points are holding the energy of the sun and the moon. Now the sun, the new moon is always the beginning of a lunar cycle and Sagittarius is very much about a new adventure. It's taking us beyond where we thought we could go. It's sort of pushing any boundaries, pushing through any limits that we may have perceived are there or that we have put in place ourselves. It's almost like rocket fuel to really propel us up and because Sagittarius is about the higher mind, it's about higher consciousness, it's also about faith and belief, seeing beyond, seeing the bigger picture. This feels like an amazing time to really harness, um, you know, where are we going next? And really where we're going next isn't necessarily somewhere or something or some place that we might have thought about or considered before. Um, we also have the 1212 energy because this new moon is happening on December the 12th. So we have this amazing portal as well. Now, um, the 12 is a very spiritual number. Obviously, we have 12 um, signs in the zodiac, um, 12 houses in the wheel. Um, you know, there's lots of different um, ways we can interpret the 12. But again, it is about activating higher consciousness. It's about us stepping out of our comfort zone, moving to new levels of awareness. Um, it's a real awakening. It's a time of spiritual growth. It's about stepping into the known and also stepping into an awareness that we are so much more than this human vessel, than this flesh incarnate that we are actually infinite and we are divine so um this is a very very powerful time of growth and enlightenment for those who are ready um but there's also a sense here and i have done a post for my um social media channels um that you know if you're ready then this is kind of it is a leap of faith um and it's not always easy to take a leap of faith especially when you don't really know <laughs> if you're off going off the edge of a mountain you don't know what's beneath you but there's also a sense here um that you know if you're not ready then you're going to get a shove because this is non-negotiable this is the next stage in our ascension it's another potent um event in the skies and the energies that is propelling us forward and it is really showing us that the magic lies beyond our comfort zone so we need to be ready to fly 
to take that leap of faith. Sagittarius is also very optimistic energy. And again, you know, it can be very easy to get dragged down into the kind of, you know, the darker energies. You know, there is a lot of very bad stuff going on on our planet at the moment. But Sagittarius is really um, kind of asking um, or, you know, encouraging, calling us to really sort of look higher, look, look above, um, don't look down, keep looking up and kind of stay positive, keep the faith. It's very much about faith, you know, and I think certainly speaking as a Blu-ray um, starseed soul, um, you know, even when things feel really dark, really bleak and really challenging, there is this kind of innate um, just belief and faith that everything is going to be all right. And, um, you know, I'd be interested to hear if you share that as well. But certainly that is for me. I have never wanted to give up, even though things have all, you know, not always been easy. I've not always felt misunderstood, but I've always kept on pushing forward, just knowing, having this really strong sense that, you know, whatever it is I'm here to do, it is important, even if I didn't always knew know what it was I knew that it would come online and I had faith that that would happen at the right time so again you know we are being shown a vision of our future um with this new moon energy in Sagittarius and you know again with the Nihal star seeds clearing out more of the lower energies more of the clutter more of the density um, so it's time to take that step forward or the next step. There's obviously lots more to come again next year. Um, but yeah, just a call out really to all star seeds. But if you resonate with the blue frequency, it feels like this is particularly potent. Um, so, you know, if you're called, it is the perfect time to um, clear some energy. And really, sometimes all that is needed is to clear yourself and your environment and your space. Because when you do that, the rip there is a ripple effect. And um, by you clearing your own channel, everything around you um, will mirror that back and become clear. So, um, yeah, it's exciting times. I hope you found that interesting. If you want to know about my work, about my galactic astrology, about my readings, please look at my website, spiralbright.co.uk. And I have a monthly newsletter that I send out on email. So please join my mailing list. You can do that via my website. And please comment, you know, if you are feeling this, how you're feeling, um, if you've resonated, it's really, really lovely to connect with you and to read your comments. Um, so thank you for watching. I'm Louise at Spiral Bright Insight and happy new moon. Mm -hmm.